there, stampers and crafters. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be having some Father's Day fun. And of course, I don't want to leave out the moms who love golf, so you can simply change the greeting on this to be for any occasion. I happen to be thinking ahead to Father's Day, so that's why this came into play. But I like golf too, and I know lots of you girls do. Very fun, easy card. Let me show you how to make it. The designer paper I'm using today comes from the Stampin' Up! Brights paper stack. And the designs might be changing a little bit, but you'll still get, you will you could still do this with the different designs. Just very, very cool. I'm punching out of the old olive with the large oval. And then to make our flag, I've got a one and a half by one inch little piece of the red in any design that you want that flag to be in. But I do like it from the designer paper because it's a lighter weight paper. And that comes in handy when we actually make the flag fly on the card. If you are new to my YouTube channel, thank you and be sure to subscribe. And know that you can get all of these measurement supplies and dimensions simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link, which is the same URL in the YouTube description below. Or if you're on YouTube, just click right on this video. Now I'm going to take a pen mark and I'm going to measure, or I'm going to use my little sheet here, a half an inch on the one inch side. So I've just marked that. Now you can either use scissors or your paper cutter. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Craft and Paper Scissors and I'm laying down from this corner to that point right on the blade. It's a long blade so it makes it easy for me to do that. If it's a short blade, I, I wouldn't recommend using scissors that have a shorter blade than your, than your paper because I think you would be disappointed with your results <laughs> unless you have a very good hand. There, now we have our flag. So easy, right? I am going to use the paper trimmer from Stampin' Up! to do the actual post, which came from black cardstock. A tiny, tiny little sliver. And that is all you need. And now we're going to put them together. So, can you hear my dog drinking? Thanks, Flash. <laughs> he just likes to make his, he just likes to make his presence known in every video. He is my production manager and he oversees everything that we do here in Tammy's Stamp Studio. So I am taking the quarter inch handheld punch and just punching a little hole some snail sticks that down. Oh, and it was so easy to lose this tiny little strip in my black background here. I'm also using snail on that. You could also use mini glue dots. And that's going to be the flag pole. It's going to stick right out of that hole. Just make sure whatever adhesive you use doesn't stick out from the sides. Ball. Our golf ball actually came from the largest eyeball of the owl punch. Just a little bigger than the half inch punch. And I used a stamp of dimensional on the back of that to, to make it pop up. So it looks like it's on the green, ready to go in the hole. Now our flag is going to be a little banner. If you want to loosen it up with a bone fold or loosen up those fibers, that's a good, it definitely helps a little bit. Three mini glue dots on this, one on each corner for point. So put these two in the top of the post, and then we're just going to pop that flag up so it looks like it's flying. There. Ta-da! Adorbs! Four Stampin' Dimensionals, pop that up and we'll put that right on the card. It's centered on the sides but a little bit towards the top so that we have room to stamp our greeting. Which comes from our teeny tiny word stamp set which is the bomb. If you don't have this set you need it because you can simply swap out Happy Father's Day for whatever the occasion is. If you want to give this for Happy Easter, go for it. Happy Retirement, perfect. Happy New Year, sure why not. If you don't already have that set, you need to run over to my site and get it. That's all I'm saying. It needs to be in your collection. So I'm using the Stays on Jet Black ink for our Happy Father's Day. And that just goes right in the center. Voila! You're done! Simple and awesome! Who would not love this super stinking cute card? Well, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to visit my blog for daily inspiration, Stampin' Up! specials, and so much more. And you can purchase all of these supplies there and hundreds more videos. Thanks for joining me today.